Shout out to AG. Those boys treat me so nice. Love them. Mwah. But yeah, the Tommy, if you're watching this, mwah. the WX stands for in the works. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask you what that was. Okay. Yeah, I don't know either. Don't start. No one surge. I love how surge is all bundled up right don't now. Don't start. Oh, oh, I get it now. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I can respect that. <laughs> Look at him. He's all bundled up. He got the coat on. Yeah. I mean, hey, it, it it's getting close to winter. Yeah, I mean, it, it's cold as hell outside right now. Yeah, because, I mean, winter starts on oh, December 21st. Well, I mean, Michigan, winter yeah, Michigan starts winter whenever starts. the hell it feels yeah. like starting. It's, <laughs> yeah. It already started, I think. Yeah, this match is starting whenever it feels like starting, too, and we got Surge trying to wall out low one here at the beginning. Bam, game one. What do you know about this matchup, Surge? I can't say I'm familiar. Uh, the big thing with Surge is half the time he's pushed to the ledge, and he says he doesn't like to camp, but it but feels But he does. Like he definitely does. <laughs> yeah, his his actions betray him. Let's be honest here. So yeah, I, I played him uh, at a gamers only week that he came to recently, and he definitely camps. He definitely camps. Yeah. But this could definitely be an issue for Gucci because he does rely on a lot of neutral for play. Gucci. Or not Gucci. <laughs> Gucci low one. But I mean for Gucci as well. Yeah, for sure. Because since he relies on the banana and having to catch out his opponent in neutral, with Surge being able to just live at the ledge, it takes away that aspect of the game for low one. So he's going to have to find a way to deal with Surge at the ledge here because he's not going to be getting too much off that banana. Yeah, low is trying to do his ledge trapping stuff that he usually does. But yeah. Villager, those aerials off the ledge are so good. They're so hard to mess with. Got yeah. the banana in his pocket now, actually. You saw him pick yeah. it up the ledge there. Yeah, so I mean, that just takes the tool away from yeah. low one. And we just see low one just struggling to Let's find Let's see if he'll remember to refresh it, though. Yep. Oh, we're getting the tree set up. Ooh, this could be a punish. Yep, chuck him back off. I can respect that. Yeah, what you gotta do? Throw this tree. Out of the patience. I love it. I'll start playing this match. There's oh, a yep. banana refresh. Yep, yep. don't let him head back. So with no banana and without the ability to edge trap, this seems like it's a ooh, nice catch on that short hop fair. Seems like it's a pretty tough time for low one. Yeah, I mean, with Surge able to just avoid a lot of low one's usual tactics as Diddy Kong, it's really forced him to have to think outside the box. And I mean, yeah, he's been coming up as a Diddy, but I think, feel like this is kind of new territory for him. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna see if Low One can figure out how to edge guard Villager, because that is definitely an art form. Yeah, it's very tricky. But Diddy has the tools to do it, I would say, or at least the ledge trap. I mean, yep. effectively enough. No banana though. Well, at least no reliable man. That makes it really hard. Yeah, I mean, as long as he can keep him sectioned off at the edge of the stage here and just keep him from being able to get back in neutral, he should be able to find a way to take off the stop in time. But this platform just letting surge. Is uh, he at the up smash kill percent now? I believe he would be, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's. It's got to be within 10%, I feel, like, yeah. at the very least. Yeah, I haven't seen a hit in a while. Again, just kind of, Surge doesn't want to push this, you know, lose what could potentially be a lot, of, a lot of a better lead. Yeah, I mean, you just saw a low one in that hand with the banana in hand, and there wasn't really anything he could do to force Surge into a situation where he could kill, because Surge is just living in the air once he's got that banana and just going from ledge to ledge, but that back air finally going to close out the first That was really interesting. The little hop that Diddy does when he up smashes actually pulls his hurtbox up quite a bit with him. A lot of stuff will whip with that. The grab hitbox, or the grab grab box, I guess, being so low, went right underneath him when he up smashed, and it let him just down so fair because the grab so laggy. Yeah, welcome to Smash 4 where the animations don't matter. <laughs> I mean, they do sometimes. Like I said, I mean, that's because of Diddy's animation. It gets yeah. all crazy high. Yeah. There we go. Getting a little bit of off that grab, but these pellets just giving Low on a lot of trouble here for him to get something started. Does Surge have the banana right now? No, no he, he does, does not. not. <laughs> he pulled it right <laughs> when I asked. Thank you, Low You gotta love it when they just answer you right yeah, away. Yeah, I know, it's right? It's like, oh, this guy's wondering. Let me answer. Yeah, we're seeing kind of equal exchanges back and forth. Surge starting from something from the ledge from a shield mishap, and then Low finding a grab, get a couple of hits. Yeah, I feel like Low One's gotten a little bit less antsy at the edge here trying yeah. to go after Surge, and he's just reacting to the options that Surge is using because he's starting to realize that if he's at the edge of the stage, odds are he's either going to have to come up with some sort of attack or he's just going to roll on the stage. He's doing some smart little empty options too to kind of make Surge yeah. pressure to do things. Like he's just like throwing yeah. some safe down tilts, he's doing like little hops. Yeah. I mean, as long as you're not really overcommitting to a hard read, you can honestly react to about 80% of the stuff that Villager can do at the edge. Exactly. So that frame three here, definitely a good get out of jail tool. And getting the grab a little bit more damage here. It's even percents between these two right now. Uh oh, here comes the bowling alley special. Not able to get 
get anything more off of that. Like, yeah, I mean, we're starting to see Surge, except for that moment right there, try and go from ledge to ledge and just avoid these yeah. on-stage kill options that Lowen's got. Trying to push himself, like, yeah, like all the way through the stage and through, uh, through Lowen, which can be tricky, but that grab, well placed. Yep. This is this is potentially a kill situation. Yep. Oh, he's going to get out that monkey flip. Yeah, great call, because if he had stayed on that platform, that tree was coming into play. One thing I love about Lowen's... <laughs> what? <laughs> One thing I love about Lowen's that. Diddy is that um, he doesn't... He doesn't decide to be stupid. So many Diddy's, even so many good Diddy's, it's like, you yeah. see him monkey flip, and you're like, I wish you just didn't have that move. I think Diddy would be better yeah. if you didn't have that move, but I like that Low yeah. only uses it like, very occasionally for the most yeah. part. So when he used it to escape, it works for him, because people usually aren't ready to read that. Yeah, because I feel like... If that's it. Yes, that'll do it. Man, gets a banana hit when he needs it. And that's the risk you take when you're playing on stage against Diddy. Because, I mean, that ledge play from Surge was doing him so well for about 80% of that game. But once you saw Low One start to understand how to keep Surge from being able to capitalize on that, that's when Surge started to... We saw a turning point in the match, yeah. absolutely. We're going into game two here. Surge. But even still... I'll say, even still with the adaptation, oh, oh boy, oh, oh, oh boy, is this happening? Dude, the search sheet is still like not bad though. It's still yeah. good. I play, I play it uh, once in a while in friendlies or whatever. He's still, he's still got it. Yeah, but on the flip side though, low one does have that nom experience with that sheet. But from player to player, it can make a difference. To be honest, with the play styles really that can. they have, we'll see how this goes. I guess. So yeah. now we got a whole new matchup to commentate. Have fun. <laughs> So how do you feel about this matchup? Um, I would be lying to you if I said I knew uh, this matchup. I know a lot of Wario's matchups because the only Wario main lives in my region. But yep. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know this one. Yeah, Lowen's ex Wario main. We'll give him that. Yeah, I, I don't think he ever made Wario in this game, did he? Not to my knowledge, but Brawl definitely. Yeah, I, 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 I do know Brawl for sure. Oh, Ooh, no punish there. Yeah, that was really close to hit too. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wow. Got through that chomp. Yeah, I mean, he's just <laughs> looking for a bite to eat. All he gets instead is a fair to the face. Sir, Rosnito's not going to pop the tires. He's just going to kind of like armor through him and drive right into him. That's kind of funny looking. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely uh, not buying Goodyear during the uh, <laughs> no. 2001 era. <laughs> <laughs> Smart automobile joke commentary. Very good. Yeah, right now. Even for Sense, despite Surge doing all these attacks and little hits here and there. I mean, that just goes to the speed to the power that Wario's got. All he needs is one or two hits to even it up. Yeah, he's um, definitely got Surge around with some. Uh, Wario, well, he has killed power. I wouldn't say he has killed consistency, which is a yeah. problem you see in the character. Yep. Problem is he has a lot of like the like the poor, like heavy power kind of characters. Like you see it with uh, with like Ike, for example, yep. kind of has it. Wario has it. DDD has it. Where it's yep. like, ooh, that was so cute. <laughs> okay. Well, apparently you can cut that in again. And the bike throw into up smash. The bike throws uh, very low knockback value. He's kind of gives you like a little stutter, and you just kind of like lose your momentum and fall after it. And like hits done. And so you can combo it and stuff like that if you can like get inside. It's tricky, but you can totally do it. That's, that's a true thing, I think. It might be. Yeah. But I mean, that puts Surge in a horrible spot because. Now he's got a lot. He's got to take yeah. the stock off of Wario. It was very tricky to kill. Yeah, and I mean, all he. No one needs is just about 25, 30 more percent. Because, I mean, with this much rage and a fully charged WAP, that's going to be killing Sheik so early. I do like that Surge, for the most part, here is not pushing it, though. Yep. Yeah, I mean, he recognizes the danger that he can put himself in if he overextends once. I mean, yeah, just low, just chipping, just chipping, just chipping, just chipping. That's all you got to do. Yep. Oh, no, that's a uh, difficult spot. Uh, this is so tricky. Man, managing to get the ledge from there. Oh. Oh. You gotta love the one who got the frame data advantage. You know, down smash sends forward or backwards, because he had that spot dodge where he looked like. I wonder if he could have charged a down smash through that and gotten a kill. Ooh. Managing to avoid the WAP there, but I feel like uh, it depends on which hit you get, because yeah. I feel like there's two hitboxes. I'm that. not sure how Sheik's down smash works, because nobody uses it, even though exactly. it's not, it's not yeah. that bad of a move. Good luck uh, explaining that to the Sheiks. <laughs> I, I swear there's use for it. I swear. What's that? It doesn't come out frame five or earlier. You know where use for it was? It was, it was right there in the last match. I yeah. bet you down smash. <laughs> might, it probably wouldn't kill. I bet you it was. I'm totally lying yeah. on my ass right now. Yeah, but Anyways, I mean. Sure he's going to find the stock he needs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is definitely where he can bring it back. If he can get a good combo, he can yeah. easily. Low percent Sheik, a uh, couple of neutral wins can keep this back out. But it's so hard to win that neutral against low planes so safe for Mario. Yep. And I mean. That job, Grim. Hey, he's hungry for that victory, man. Yep. Ooh, massive damage from that bike. Keep the forward throw. The strongest one by far is the upward one, I believe. Yep. He's getting a little bit of rubber in his eye there. Okay, yeah, this is damage back. Ooh. Got the drag down. That was cute. 
Yeah, very nice conversion off of that. They're definitely showing he means business. Yeah, I mean, as long as he can avoid getting hit by that bike throw again or some yeah. sort of confirm like that. Uh, I feel like he, he has, like, a... He's dealing with bike like the same wrong way that you can deal with like spin dash the wrong way where it's like he sees it start and then rolls away from it like a, like a lot. I've seen it a bunch yeah. of times where it's like you're just gonna get hit because he's just gonna come through you. Yeah, it's one of those moves that can easily catch up to you. Yeah. Even an amazingly fast roll like Sheik's. Yep. Yeah, Surge was saying, you know what? Screw this. Yeah. I'm gonna force slow one to approach. And honestly, Ooh, I got that, that moment. Part. All right. Close. Jeez. Another close one, then. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Surge got done dirty at the end there. Right, I gotta go do my thing. All right, best of luck. Thanks, buddy.